what possible reason could you have for protecting Sam? She stood by and watched while your baby was kidnapped. Jake would probably still be missing if I hadn't heard him crying when I spoke with Maureen last night. And I owe you for your help with Jake. But that doesn't mean that I have to help you destroy Sam. I want you to leave Sam alone. There's been enough damage. That's a generous attitude, considering the pain and fear she's inflicted on you and it, Elizabeth. It's over, Amelia. Jake is safe at home. Yeah, Elizabeth believes that, but you don't. You're a realist, and you know as well as I do that anything could have happened to Jake. Sam had no way of knowing that Maureen wasn't dangerous. She could have left him in a ditch or I'm worse. I'm not going to turn Sam in for aiding and abetting. Look, if you're worried the truth about Jake being your son... Jake is out. with Elizabeth and her family, and that's the end of it. Sam and I are over. And so is your revenge. Leave Sam alone. Or what? You aren't in a position to threaten me. Try me. Sam is walking around without a care while my father is dead, murdered. Why shouldn't I want to make her pay for all the damage she's caused? To me and to you. I told you I just want this to end. So we're back to your empty okay, face. You know what? Go after Sam. If you do, evidence linking you to organized crime will be leaked to the network and your career will be over. So you can get ruthless. Which makes me wonder why in the world you left yourself so wide open to Sam. I'm not your problem. She is. And Sam is going to cause a lot more damage before she's finished.